Hello everyone, uh, my name is Brian and today I'll be teaching you about how to uh, insert transfer functions into MATLAB. Uh, just a quick overview of what a transfer function is and does. Um, from your free body diagram you'll get a modeling equation for your system and generally this will be very complex and uh, hard to use. And so the easiest way to go about this is uh, take the Laplace transform of it and um, what the tra Laplace transform does is that it converts your linear differential equations into algebraic expressions which um, you'll get an equation from this and it'll generally be a lot easier to manipulate and uh, what your, tra what your uh, transfer function is is the output over the input of the system and so as uh, an example here we'll just write into the comments of our co command window here and we'll just give it an equation here 1 over maybe 2s squared plus 6s plus 2. Now um, to input this into MATLAB there's actually a function and um, what you need to do is give your function a name and for brevity we'll just call it name and equals tf of what you're going to have is your numerator and your denominator. Uh, I'm just going to make this a, fun a comment just so we have it to reference. And since MATLAB is array based, um, what it's looking for in your numerator and denominator is actually the coefficients of each term. And so for our numerator, uh, our values are just 1. As you can see there, it's just um, there's only a 1 in the numerator. Uh, the easiest way to go about for the second part is to give each of, of your coefficients in the denominator a name. So we'll call it A is equal to 2. Um, B would be your 6, as we're going to call it here, as that is your second term. And C, our final term, which is S0, is, zero, is um, 2. with a semicolon so we don't get a repeat. Okay, so referring back to uh, my comment here about how the transfer function works. Um, so we give it a name, which uh, we'll just call it name again, and use the function tf, which is for transfer function. Now, um, to put this in here, uh, we just go um, numerator. So we can actually just put in numerator that's what is equal to. And then we'll put in an array here of A, B, and C, which corresponds to our um, coefficients that we have for our function here. And so now we have the transfer function 1 over 2s squared plus 6s plus 2. Okay, now that we have a tr transfer function in MATLAB, uh, the next part that we want to do is find a Bode plot of the given transfer function. Inside MATLAB, uh, as you type in the command, there is the Bode transfer function. As you type Bode and then the name of your function. And as you type that and hit enter, MATLAB will output um, the given plots of the Bode diagram being the magnitude and also the phase. And as you can see, now that it is given this in a figure, uh, you are able to find out um, the values that you require for whatever you need out of the Bode plot. Once we have our uh, Bode diagram, we are able to go along the top here on our toolbar and select the data point cursor which uh, looks exactly like this uh, if you click it you're able to click anywhere on your graphs and it will display the information for that selected point uh, if you click the square itself you're able to drag it along the trend line and um, move the point uh, as well if you make a mistake you can also right click it and delete all data points or the current one and it will get rid of it If at any time during uh, using MATLAB you either get stuck or you're looking for a certain function, you are able to type in doc 
and it will bring up the help window from MATLAB. Uh, it is pretty easy to navigate. As long as you search within there, you can search for, let's say, transfer function. Hit enter, and it will come up with uh, anything that you need to know about transfer functions and how they're used inside of MATLAB.